What is going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. It is midnight yet again and yet again. We're back on Rushing Fishing 4. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, zebra mussels, river mussels, and crawfish. Let's get started. Okay, so this is just a little short video. Well, I don't know how short it's going to be. You guys know I'm long-winded. But it's a little video just letting you guys know uh, how you can do some mussel farming as well as some crawfish farming. You just hit 100% uh, bait harvesting. Congratulations, you're one of the awesome people in the game. 100% opens up uh, crawfish meat as well as mussel meat. Okay? Now... To actually do this, this is probably one of the most frustrating things in the world because you can catch as many mussels and crawfish as you possibly can or you possibly want. And to be able to do this, you go into N, you press N, you go into your baits, and then you go down and you go into your crayfish, river mussels, and zebra mussels. To do this, you need a knife, the Fish Karna Professional Filet Knife. Now, I don't understand why you can't use the regular knife. Well, I do. The devs want you to spend money. This knife is 5,400 silver on Volkov River, okay? So you're gonna have to save up for this first before you start getting this bait. Is this bait worth it? Yes, absolutely. Um, sturgeon, Sturlet, Stellet, all the S's, all the R's, uh, Russian uh, Sturgeon and all of that stuff, you're gonna be doing it with this for the most part. Now, they do bite on other stuff like uh, rhinoceros beetles and stuff like that, but for the most part, you can really get some big fish with these. So you're gonna need to start actually going for river mussel and crayfish once you actually get the Fish Karna professional, um, professional flay knife. And to be honest with you, when you purchase that, it is probably the most hurtful thing <laughs> that you purchase in the game because 5,400 for a knife. And then you gotta go fish for your bait. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a few places that I've actually tried um, on Winding Rivulet and there's also one on Sura, okay? But first we need to go over the gear. The gear is fairly straightforward and simple. The biggest thing that you wanna really worry about is your leader, 3.1 kilograms, nice and small. Be careful with this because if Chubb go ahead and get your uh, hook onto your line, then you're going to be possibly breaking your leader. So make sure that you at least keep your tension down. That way, you know, when you hook into a chub or something like that, you don't immediately break your, your leader. Uh, I highly suggest the Simmons Happy Hook or higher in quality, Berserkers, whatever, Tiny 22 to 24. Um, those I've found work the best. And then there's Nature Worms right now are what's really, really working for mussels as well as crayfish. Uh, and you can do like a low five kilogram, um, five kilogram regular line as well as a low, you can even do like a four kilogram reel and rod or whatever. I got a 4.6 here and a seven. These are just way off, but I know I'm not gonna be breaking my poles or anything because my leader is so low, okay? So that's your gear, basically fairly simple, nice and small, light gear. Uh, and we're, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple of kind of active, inactive spots, and then I'm gonna show you some fairly active spots that are going on right now. As you can see, I just caught a mussel out of here. I haven't been here for very long, and that's the first mussel I've actually caught. So in my opinion, this place isn't very active whatsoever. However, this place has been active in the past, absolutely. In fact, for about a few months back then, back when it was active, people were saying, oh yeah, as soon as somebody asked for like river mussels or whatever everybody was saying oh yeah just go to the left of the bridge and winding so here's one here the second one over here which i believe is inactive is this one here you're looking at about an eight clip maybe a 10 clip uh and then what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to the one that's actually active down here actually you know there's one more area that i might find on the way that isn't active but could possibly be active in the future so we'll, we'll jump down to there first Okay, so here's your second spot over here. Now with over here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually do a clip of 13, 
and I've actually found this active in the past. Uh, it was just by accident. You do a clip of 13 and you're going to cast towards the right, the far right set of bushes. So you've got this set of bushes here, this set of bushes, and then you're going to cast towards this one right here. Now this one hasn't been very active, but I occasionally will actually get some muscles here. So if everywhere else goes dead, you may want to try coming here first and then possibly going over to the bridge. All right, so we're coming into our fourth place. This is the active spot as of right now. We're at 108.24. We're down here uh, at the lower end of this deep end right here. And what you're going to do, now this spot was actually suggested to me by uh, Fabrique or Fabrique. You guys remember him? He's the one that suggested the uh, Dragonfly 2 spinners for or Bell spinners for Tungusta, you guys should message him. I'm going to throw up his name in the screen. Message him, give him a hard time, tell him that Mystic sent you, and tell him thanks for this spot because this spot is actually really, really, really good for muscles. Okay, now as you can see, there's this sideways tree right here. This is how I know I'm always in the right spot. Now, there's two places that you can actually cast right here. You're going to do a, a, a line clip of eight, and the first spot you're going to do is just in front of these bushes over here. This is the first one that I always cast to because it ends up being a little bit better at the start for me for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, what are we at? We're at nine, eight. So we're going to go ahead and do another one right here. And then the third or the second spot that you're actually going to cast is going to be also at an eight. And you're going to cast towards these bushes right over here. Now you can probably cast a few different other places too if you want, that's up to you guys. But from what I found here, the majority of what you're going to be catching is going to be mussels. Now you get a crayfish every now and then. And the funny thing is, is we actually had a little bit of a, not official competition, but a competition of who could get the first donut, uh, donuts, donuts rough. Uh, Fabrique or Fabrique, uh, he won, of course, because he cheats. Um, I don't know how, but I will figure it out one of these days. But uh, yeah, he was he won that. And then after that, it was just crayfish after muscle, after zebra muscle. And it was absolutely crazy. Uh, you'll get about two or three times more muscles than anything else here. So when it comes down to getting these bait fish or these muscle bait or whatever your muscles are going to be more active here that i found but you will get a few zebras and you may get a, a few um crayfish every now and then so this is the second place or the third place again this one's super active as of right now which is october 15th and we're facing this direction right here at 108 24. now we're going to jump over to a very surprising spot this spot is on sura so hopefully you guys have this open because this spot is the actual zebra capital of catching fish. All right. We'll see you guys there. Okay. As you can see, we are coming up on Sura and our spot and we are by a log. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is our log. We are at 4636. We are right here on the map facing the three meter hole. Now, I'd like to give credit where credit was due, but I found this spot on the VK site. And the guy's name was in Russian and I couldn't read it, so I can't give credit where credit is due. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna come out here, we're gonna do our retrieval speed and turn this down to 18. Make sure it's down to 18 because if you hook into a chub here, you can snap your line. So, this log is not going to affect you whatsoever. So you're gonna do a line clip of nine. I personally like to get as close to the grass as I can. And I'm gonna hit the, the log with one or two of my reels or my rods. I'm also going to cast out right here, just to the right of the log. I found that uh, sometimes if they're not biting on the log, they're actually biting slightly to the right of it. And then also just in case, whoops, that is not where I wanted to put that. Also just in case, we're gonna go ahead and put it, I already got a bite, nope. We're gonna do one more rod. My fingers are not working tonight. I'm sorry, guys. We're gonna do one more, just a little bit more to the right. See where they're actually biting and pretty much go for there. Did I have a clip on this? I'm pretty sure I had a clip on that, but it might be a little bit longer. Okay, so this spot is your zebra muscle spot. It is a zebra muscle paradise. Okay, now this spot actually acts a little bit weird. I pulled a little bit too soon on that. That was my bad. As you can see, that line on number two is going freaking nuts. This spot acts a little bit strange. 
you're either going to start immediately getting mussels, zebra mussels, and crawfish. And by the way, crawfish here are insane. You'll get a ton of crawfish here. Um, they'll immediately start biting on zebra mussels or crawfish, or you're going to be overrun by Chinese sleepers and roughs, and maybe a little bit of chubs. So just bear with it a little bit. Eventually, as long as you're using the right gear setup and everything else, again, red worms and 22 to 24 uh, hooks, as long as you're using the right setup, just bear with the... Um, Bear with the Chinese sleepers and the roughs a little bit. You'll be okay. You'll still get zebra mussels, but you'll get twice as many zebra mussels as you will regular mussels, and you'll get a ton of crawfish as well. Now, the crawfish actually take a little while to start being active, so you're going to get quite a few mussels and zebra mussels before the crawfish start, and then the crawfish will start coming one after another. So it'll it'll be really, really nice. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. I appreciate it. Keep gaming. Keep doing it. Midnight. Have a blast. We'll see you guys later. Take care, have a good one, and bye-bye, and good luck with your muscle. I didn't sound right.